folks, and welcome back to Concilium Watch. I'm Austin, and on this week's Army Builder Briefing, I am going to go over the Imperial Service Sectorial of the Yuqing Empire. In this video, I'm going to go over what I feel is the Sectorial's general feel and play style, fire team options, and three lists to help you get started. ISS has an insane, insane, I tell you, amount of visors. Ten different units have a visor of some sort. Nothing hides from the Imperial Service. But likewise, they don't have a whole lot to hide from you either. But the things that they do can really pack a punch. ISS is a fantastic mix of the iconic Yu Ching heavy infantry with light infantry Imperial agents that have all the best tricks and equipment to get just about any job done. Now, before we get to our list, let's go over the five things you typically need in a sectorial army list. A core link team for link team bonuses, midfield specialists to push buttons and complete objectives, hit pieces, units with high burst weapons for active turn shooting, Defensive pieces, units with long-range weapons, mainly to be put on ARO, or to be midfield roadblocks. And order monkeys, because the more orders you have, the more you can do. Remember that these are just starter lists to give you ideas on how to play, and we encourage you to make your own list to fit your own play style and to try new things. All the list codes in the video will be down in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are in Army 7. We go to Yuqing, and we go to the Imperial Service. All right, let's go over our wonderful fire teams chart. All right, so we got unlimited fire team duos. Two fire team Harrises. I got to tell you guys, I was so excited when the fire team options new update for army came out and i saw that iss had two harrises is chef's kiss is what that is and they have so many awesome harris options now that you can mix and match and just great create these wonderful harris fire teams i really thought iss needed a little bit of a pick-me-up to like have that punch and the two Harrises, for me, really, really do that. And as always, one fire team core. Well, not always, but for everything we've gone over so far, one fire team core. All right, so we have the Celestial Guard fire teams. These can Harris and core. You have to have a minimum of one Celestial Guard, actual Celestial Guard. Uh, with a max of five, Dakini can now for be a part of the Celestial Guard fire team. Deva can be a part of the Celestial Guard fire team. And Tao Wu. Mm, that's really interesting. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, see that Dakini, you can only bring two of and only one Deva, though. And obviously, one Tao Wu. He's a character. You're only ever going to bring one Tao Wu anyway. Then we have the Quang Shi fire teams. They can only core with a minimum of one Quang Shi and one Celestial Guard monitor. Max of four, Quang Chi. But the Celestial Guard monitor does count as a Quang Chi. So if you do make this core with the Celestial Guard monitor and four Quang Chi, then they will get all of the pure link team bonuses. But the fire team is automatically canceled if the Celestial Guard monitor leaves the fire team, or sort of he gets killed or everything, the the fire team is immediately broken. But that is not to, that's just for the fire team. I want you to do remember that you do not you can bring the monitor and not have him be a part of any like a part of a different fire team and the Quang Shi do not have to be part of that fire team. The monitor has to be there to bring Quang Shi. So you have the uh, left support team fire teams, they can only duo and Harris, and there are no minimums here. So mix and match to your heart's desire. So you have a Dakini, three. Deva, which count as Dakini. You can bring three of those. And the Pheasant Imperial Agent. I really enjoy the Pheasant Imperial Agent. Mm, such a good model. And we have the Wu Ming fire teams. These can duo Harris or Core with a minimum of one Wu Ming. With a max of five, and the Zanying, which also counts as a Wu Ming for that 
Mm, juicy, good, pure fire team link team bonuses. Zanyings are probably one of probably my favorite unit in ISS. They just have so many options, so many cool things, and mm, I I can't gush enough about how good Zanying actually are. And next we have the I may butcher this word, and I do apologize, but the Jean. Law and Order fire teams. These can duo and Harris. Now, if you'll look through the Law and Order fire teams, you there are no minimums at all. So you can mix and match all of these to your heart's desire. Just be wary of the max of these. So you have the bow troops. I love bow troops. Oh, I love them so much. The pheasant imperial agents. The crane agent. The Zan Ying, there they are again. The Bounty Hunter. Those Bounty Hunters are really great because Bounty Hunters are really cheap. So just filling those in with a Harris is really, really nice. See a, and Booty. Who doesn't want to roll Booty? And you have the CSU, another really good cheap order filler for these Harrises. And Metachemistry. Who doesn't want to roll that? The Shen Warriors. Mmm. Mwah, love the Shen Warriors and being able to mix and match a Shen with these uh, other options is really, really nice. Can make a very, very powerful Harris. And you have Savorza FTO, which counts as a bounty hunter. And Miranda Ashcroft also counts as a bounty hunter. And moving on, we got the fast attack fire teams. These can only duo. You have the Sujian. Uh, so no minimum, so just two, maximum two, and the motorized bounty hunter. So you can grab a motorized bounty hunter and a Sujian and have them duo just move out. Oh, uh, that's going to be wonderful. And your wild cards, you have the crane agent is a pure is a pure wild card. Put him anywhere you want to. Zizhuang. Uh, counts as a celestial guard. Zizhuang is wonderful, a perfect filler to any fire team. He does so much, has the weapons to do all the things. He's a specialist. He does everything. Zizhuang just being able to pure wild card through he, any of these fire teams is mm, fantastic, and he counts as a celestial guard. Uh, then you have Adil Mamut, who also counts as Celestial Guard. I really like this Adil Mamut. And you have Adil Mamut Crane Rank, the Imperial Agent Crane Rank. And there can only be one Adil in each army list. So Adil Mamut's got two options, only bring one of them. But let's move, get to our first list. On our first list, we are going to bring that mixed core fire team with the celestial guard so let's start with the celestial guard lieutenant combi rifle 13 points and with the whip 14 it's a higher percent chance for you to win the role and you want to win the role i mean who doesn't want to win the role so they can decide what if they want to go first or to decide so just having that pip of extra whip really helps all right, so we are going to go get our Dakini, and we are going to go grab the multi-sniper rifle for 1.5 SWC and 20 points. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a lot with BS-11, so that's only going to go up to BS-12 in that fire team, but it's it's going to be fine with everything with the numbers crunch, and because it's a remote and you can give it marksmanship, that 12 starts to look really, really nice just because you can ignore all the cover. Uh, we are going to go grab a Deva because you can have one Deva. And we're going to grab the MSV2 Spitfire Nano Pulsar, one SWC and 33 points. So that's 2.5 SWC, 66 points. We are going to go grab the Celestial Guard Monitor. Now, if you go to the Celestial Guard, they do have a monitor option, but if you click on this monitor, you can't grab the Quang Shi. You're going to end up throwing a big red X here on Army, and you want that green check mark. So go over here to the Quang Shi and grab that monitor. 
And it's got a note here, Quang Chi unit is composed by one monitor guard and up to four Quang Chi. All of them must be in the same combat group. So while you don't have to make a fire team with the monitor, you can just bring the monitor and you can still bring Quang Chi and the Quang Chi don't have to be in the fire team. The Quang Chi have to be in the same group as the monitor. They cannot be in that second combat group. They've got it wherever the monitor it, whatever group the monitor's in, the Quang Chi have to be as well. All right, so we are going to bring that monitor because we are going to bring Quang Chi in this list. And we're going to go grab back to our Dakini and grab the paramedic. And the reason we're grabbing the paramedic is because <laughs> it's the only paramedic in the entire sectoral. Yes, you do have the doctor in the sofa tech, but the Dakini are the only paramedic, so the only linkable doctor in the entire sectorial so we are gonna take advantage of that and put that in that core link team this core link team is really good so if the Dakini sniper was to go down because he is only one structure i mean it's gonna be a it's, this is a really good core and the only traditional fire team core so like the normal fire team unless you're gonna go with like Wu Ming, that's gonna have a lieutenant your paramedic your high burst weapon and your defensive piece this is the only way to actually make that core fire team unless you're going to go pain train with the Wu Ming. so the bs12 with mimetism minus three and being able to get marksmanship if you do bring the pangwiling which we are going to be bringing the pangwiling in this list we've just not got there yet so just remember that this is 94 points and three SWC. So it's a very cheap points wise, but not so cheap SWC wise. And that gets a bit more expensive when you're going to bring the Pangwiling because you really want to bring him. So just remember that so that's going to be 109 points and 3.5 SWC to make this core actually do all the things that you want it to. We're going to get rid of the Pangwiling for right now just because he's going to go in a different group. We are going to go back to our Quang Chi and we're going to grab our Quang Chi. Uh, the Quang Chi with boarding shotgun, that one doesn't exist. Pretend it doesn't exist. You only ever bring the chain rifle ones because they're five points. They're five point regular orders. So you're going to bring three of those. Now, remember, so the Quang Chi are not in this fire team and that's fine. Quang Chi are going to be really good because you can get rid of the impetuous order and nullify that. These are really great for defense missions like uh, capture and protect. Yeah, capture and protect or mind wipe. These are really good for mind wipe to help protect your servers because they just sit there and they've got a big template weapon. They're also really great for uh, defensive. Yes, defensive, but the. Deployment zone drop troops, all four of those, those are, Quang Chi are fantastic for that, especially with Dogged. And if they don't just get shot off the table, if they get close enough, they can just explode and make your opponent have to save another, have to make another save because they explode. But you can't Dogged them and explode. You have to let them die for them to explode. Uh, then we're going to go, we need a midfielder, so we are going to go to our only midfielders, and that is the Canron. I'm, I know I'm butchering that, I'm sure it's pronounced a different way, but they're Canron. Counterinsurgency group. These guys have hollow mask and hollow projector. Surprise attack minus three. They've got four deployment agents, so they're not true infiltrators. They only have four deployment eight inches, but they still got stealth. They still got total terrain. They get the surprise attack from the hollow projector. So how hollow projector works, guys, is when you deploy, because you can deploy with this, hollow projector, and then, as long, and then put two more canron or the little hollow projector markers out within eight inches of the real one 
And so you can make so if you're moving with that hollow projector active, your opponent can only shoot one of them. Like if you have one ARO, can cannot split obviously can't split their shots to one of them. So you really want to be very very careful with the hollow projector guys because while you can't shoot, so if you end up having three AROs, each one can target each one. Now that does be allow you. So if a sniper is shooting you. But we'll just say there's one ARO and the sniper is happens to be shooting you and you bring the FO option with a boarding shotgun and a flash pulse. You're good if you're in that good uh, plus three range with a flash pulse and they choose the wrong one of those three cannon that you have because of hollow projector. They shot that you just get a free shot with the flash pulse. Uh, in this case, I think the killer hacker is better just because he has a little bit of a longer range weapon than a boarding shotgun. Flash pulses are fantastic. I love flash pulses being able to shoot out a little bit farther, but I really like the killer hacker here for the combi rifle and the chain cult for 26 points. And so we got a midfielder. We got our core fire team. We need one more hit piece for this. So the hit piece that we're going to go with for this list, excuse me, is a big bad. And that is the Shujian immediate action unit. These guys are mm, danger kitty. Love me some danger kitty. They got the high mobility form and the combat form. We are going to bring the Spitfire light flame through our Panzerfaust. Heavy pistol, 1.5 SWC, 54 points. That is group one. This allows your core fire team to be on ARO. Sniper goes down. You can still move out with that Deva, the monitor, and the paramedic acting as your core fire team. And that's a very deadly uh, three-man core to go with that. Just leave the lieutenant behind because it's going to be kind of obvious who the LT actually is. Yeah, just leave the LT behind in a nice safe spot and let the Deva move out with their MSV2. The monitor can shoot out two smoke grenade two smoke grenades out to 24 inches on 11s. That's not bad. It'd be 12s uh, with the core link team. So if the sniper takes out everything they want to, move out with all five and now you've got two smoke Two smoke grenade launcher shots on 12s. It's fantastic. And Sujian is going to do Sujian things. Sujian is absolutely nutty. Just because that movement 8-2, being able to move that front 8, that makes your, if you wanted to cautious move, so if you're behind something, nobody can see you, and you have another piece of terrain where you could hide that's eight. that's a little bit under 8 inches away, or like right at eight inches away, you could be fully covered. Just spend that order to cautious move. I can cautious move eight inches and they can't shoot me. It's absolutely redonkulous. I absolutely love it. And if they happen to dodge, they dodge even farther because they're going to be moving at an eight four. You got no wound in cap, two structure, total terrain, Transmutation auto. So transmutation auto is just whenever you want to be like, okay, now I'm going to make him into combat form. I'm going to put him into high mobility form at will, whatever you want. All right. So we need that second group. Second group is we are going to bring our pangolin, just like we said we would bring the Evo hacker. That way you can just set him to the Kini up with marksmanship and forget him penguin Ling never has to do anything else ever again uh we are going to go grab a second killer hacker canron all right we are going to go grab one of our camo units one of our three camo units that has a big old punch and that is all the way up here and that is the ninja ninjas are Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. They've got mimetism minus six. They got hidden deployment, the infiltration, total terrain, CC attack shock. For this particular one, you're going to almost always want to bring one of these three specialists, either the hacking device, killer hacking device, or the forward observer. I'm going to bring the forward observer just because combi rifle. 
and it's a bit of a better shooter and he can reach out a little bit farther because if you are in if you are in cover you've got mimetism minus six and with a surprise attack they're at a minus nine to hit you and then you're imposing a minus three on them as long as they don't have six cents so combi rifle just being able to shoot out just that bit farther and have that flash pulse you can still surprise attack and do those cool things it's just in my opinion it's a lot of points 35 points is a lot but it's really good it's really good so i'm going to bring the forward observer that's in fact my my favorite ninja to bring and we've got 265 5SWC. We are going to go grab our Sofa Tech that we mentioned earlier. This is, has a gizmo kit and a med kit. Courage, Engineer, Doctor, No Wounding Cap, 6 4 Movement, Whip 15. So he is an engineer and a doctor all in one. He's 31 points. He pays, you pay a lot for what he is, but he's really, really good at it. Sofa techs are fantastic, especially since you have something that has structure like the Sujian, and you've got all these Dakini, you got the Deva, so definitely going to invest in the Sofa Tech, and we're going to bring him a little Udbot to help him out. And that'll be 5 SWC, 299 points. This is a great list to just get you started so you can have fun with ISS. Basic fire team options. But we are going to scrap them, and we are going to move on to our next list. And our next list, let's do, let's take that. We, we talked about the Wu Ming Core. Let's bring that Wu Ming Core. But first, we need to go grab our Zanying. Oh, I love the Zanying Imperial Agents with their bioimmunity, with their six sense. So they're the bioimmunity. They always have three armor, six sense. It's just, mm. and they've got. Look at this. It's absolute. Most of them, these guys have sensor and triangulated fire. You got a hacker that's got D charges, which is really really nice. So many of them have breaker combi rifles. They got heavy machine gun. A 1SWC heavy machine gun. That's redonkulous. Absolutely disgusting. A 23-point missile launcher. Can't talk enough about Zanyang's. Mm, wonderful. We are going to be bringing the lieutenant option here with sensor. Lieutenant, sensor, triangulated fire, breaker combi, and chain colt for 21 points. Now we're going to go to our Wu Ming. Those without name. These are fantastic heavy infantry, but notice because Wu Ming are those without name. So in the lore, they're like prisoners. <laughs> they have to like serve their country to get citizenship back and to get their names back because the lowest possible thing you could do to somebody in the Yuching Empire is to take their name. So they don't have a cube, but we are going to be bringing the heavy machine gun because heavy machine gun, the heavy rocket launcher with like shotgun for 30 points. And then we're going to, we're going to grab the boarding shotgun with 10 bot firewall minus six. Now, so that'll, they've already got BTS minus BTS three. So have, being able to not hack them. Or making it harder to hack them is really, really nice. But we are going to go back to our Zanying, and we're going to use this aggressively. And we're going to go grab our hacker with a breaker combi chain colt and D charges. So now we, because it's a minus, that firewall minus six applies to your entire fire team. So you can go hack things because the Wooming want to get to the midfield and like hold squat and destroy absolutely everything in their path but now you have another weapon with that hacker because they are was ending already have bts three and now they're getting the firewall minus six it makes it easier to hack something and not worry so much about them hacking you back so you don't have to worry about killer hackers so much and it protects your wooming all right, we are going to go to our Canron, and we're going to grab our Killer Hackers. 
because I love the killer hackers. And we need another Harris. We need a Harris. So for this Harris, we're going with we're gonna go with a law and order Harris. And we're gonna grab our pheasant Imperial Agent Red Fury with tactical awareness. What is this madness? They got martial arts level one. They got chain of command. I usually do not care for point men to be the lieutenants without chain of command. But in this case, the chain of command is also a point man for your link team. Uh, being that Shazan Ying is going to be pretty okay, I don't feel as bad. I don't feel bad about it at all. Just because the Shazan Ying is going to be, Lieutenant is going to be very well protected, especially if you're moving your fire team carefully the right way and shooting the things that getting good matchups. So just do the same thing with your pheasant rank. It's going to be fine. Then we're going to go grab our bow troops. And we are going to grab the combi rifle, light shotgun, flash pulse for 24 points. Bow troops, mm, biometric visor, MSV2, discover plus three. They got courage. I love bow troops. They're mm, absolutely amazing. Mm, makes me so happy. So bow troop. And we're going to go grab Xi Zhuang. This is the guy that I was talking about, the pure... Wild card. Combi rifle, light flamethrower, plus one burst. So now in that Harris, that's three light flamethrower burst. Flash poles. He's got mad traps. He's number two. He's a forward observer. So he's a specialist. He's a mine layer. He's going to protect your deployment zone with the mad trap. If something happens to be trying to come at you like those darn impersonators or Andromeda, Usha McNeil, the mad trap is going to help out a lot for those. But that is a very good Harris. Sweet, wonderful Harris. Moving on. we So that's at 272, 4.5 SWC. So for the second group... We we just need more orders to let the Wu because our Wu Ming core is going to be moving up the field to do cool things. Our Harris is going to be moving up the field to do cool things. Cannons already start eight inches outside of your deployment zone, so we really just need order monkeys at this point because everything in this first group has a job to do. So we just need order monkeys at this point, and the best order monkeys for this sectorial at all are the Quang Chi. These are not going to be in a fire team. They are there to do Quang Chi things. So we're just going to grab the monitor and three of these Quang Chi. And that's all those are. Now, just remember that a whole lot needs to die to move them up into group two. Alternatively, if you didn't care to do that, you could move the Harris and one of the Canrons down here into group two to bring the monitor and the Quang Shi up to let the single Canron and Zi Zhuang and the Wu Ming do all the work for group one. And that'll still leave you with, with the tactical awareness Five orders, one, two, three, four, five, five orders in group two to go do all the things that you need to do with that Harris. That's actually not a bad plan. Let's just go ahead and do that. So we're going to bring one Canron down, Zi Zhuang, Bao Troop, and Pheasant, and we're just going to move our monitor and our Quang Shi up here. So you notice how they're wrong. they all have to be in the same group. So that one Huang Chi is down here. You get that nice red X, that bad red X, as it were. Uh, green check mark. So you got five orders to do all of the things with the Harris, all the things that you can do with the Harris. And you've got 10 full orders for the Wu Ming core to go out and do things. And one of the, and one of the Canrons, if you so wish to. This is actually a better option. I like that better. 
But so that would be your pain train list. Also a really fun list. Uh, Wooming cores are just so much fun. Love Wooming cores. But that's it for that list. Now, this is usually when we would make a tag list. However, comma, ISS doesn't have a tag at all. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to have a little bit of fun and do what I like to call my smoke coverage list. So we're going to go start with, a, and we're going to bring those two Harrises. But not just any two Harrises. We're going to bring two Shin Harrises. So we're going to start with our Zanying Lieutenant. We are going to go grab a Shin Warrior. Shin Warriors are just good premier HI. 6-2 movement, 14 BS, 14 Fizz, 14 Whip, 4 Armor, 6 BTS, 2 Wounds with MSV2. All have AP close combat weapons. They're, it's The Shin are absolutely disgusting, and I love them. And they have fantastic models. They're gorgeous. But we are going to grab the Heavy Machine Gun Nano Pulsar for 1.5 SWC and 55 points. Yeah, that's expensive, but you get a lot of use out of the Shin. And for this first one, we need a specialist. We got our lieutenant. We got our hit piece. We need a specialist for the Harris. So we are going to grab this nice little 11-point specialist operative, which is really nice because they do have six cents, and the Zanying also have six cents. Rifle, light, shotgun, pistol, metachemistry, and you never know what you're going to get with metachemistry. could be really fun. But now you got a specialist for that one. So we need... Our specialist. Let's go ahead and our, let's grab our specialist. Let's grab our Canrons. Both of our killer hackers, because killer hackers, they're my favorite. We are going to bring a Chai Bot because we've got to get as many cheap orders as humanly possible. And let's go ahead and let's make that second Harris. The second Harris is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go grab our second Shin Warrior with our HMG. Now we're going to go to our Pheasant. Because remember, these are Harris's, and one of these Harris's has your LT in it. So let's we need to bring a chain of command in there just in case. Just in case. So for this one, we are going to bring the Killer Hacker Pheasant. 28 points. He's got an emitter and a combi rifle, breaker pistol. Didn't matter, but that's going to help protect your shin because your shin is heavy infantry. So just having that killer hacker there is great. So we have our hit piece. We have our specialist. We just need somebody that's cheap. And I, we've already did meta chemistry. So let's go grab a bounty hunter and just grab this little submachine gun, Argolite Canic, 12 points, throw him in there. And that's nine orders. 3 SWC, 241 points. We don't have a lot of points to work with left. But we want the full 10 orders, That as many orders as we usually can. Now, if we happen to be going first, it's going to be cut down to 8. However, comma, Tao Wu is a thing, mastermind and schemer. And we're going to bring our counterintelligence so, we can on, so they can only take away one. And you can hide this. This is the only thing with counterintelligence in the sectorial. So as soon as they say, you say, oh, I'm going to take away two orders. No, you're only going to take away one because counterintelligence. They're going to know Tao Wu is somewhere, but you can hide him a little bit with the ma with the hollow mask. And Tao Wu can also be a really, really good scalpel with a viral pistol plus one first, monofilament close combat weapon, CC attack minus six, and natural born warrior with stealth. So Tao Wu is perfect for what we're trying to do here. So there's your 10 orders that you're, if you happen to be going first, you're only had nine taken away. But wait, wait, Austin, we need a core fire team. Don't worry, Bo, I got you. There's only one smoke in the entire sectorial, and that is from the monitor. We're going to make a pure Quang Shi core. 
Quang Shi Core, we're going to grab our monitor and we're going to grab all four Quang Shi. $299, that's not a whole lot of SWC, but this is fun. This is fun. You'll be fine. Don't worry about the SWC. It's 299 points. This entire second group, since it is a purifier team, they're the monitor's ballistic skill is now 14. They've got five orders to just throw smoke out all day. Just like smoke over here, smoke on this side of the board, smoke on that side of the board, smoke on this side of the board. Just cover the entire field with smoke and then move to your first group and let the shins go absolutely nuts and shoot everything off the board it's gonna be wonderful you should definitely give it a try it's actually a lot of fun and works really well just hide your core in a kind of out of the way spot peek out your monitor in places shoot your smoke and you've got five orders to do it it's not like you're not gonna get and it's two smoke grenades so it's not like at least one of them is not gonna land on a 14 out to 24 inches it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Try it out. It's absolutely wonderful. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the list. And I guess I'll see you next time.